to another video. I am on the train. We are about to get going. We're driving to southern France today on the train. It's actually three trains to get there. Um, this is the outfit. We didn't pack much, so I'm wearing boots with this, but I feel like it works really well. I also brought a jacket, but it is surprisingly hot. Um, yeah. I don't know how much I'm gonna film um, while we're on the drive. I have to take a train from here to my hometown, then to another town in Germany, and then all the way down to southern France. I'm so excited, honestly. The weather, I hope, is very nice there. Baby and Golo are just sitting a little over there with the suitcase and everything. I just came over here because it's a little more quiet. There's no one in here yet. And these trains, these are the old trains. I need to show you those. I don't know when they stopped using them. I definitely remember them from my early childhood but now they are looking differently. Maybe I can show you later when we get on another train, but these seats and everything, ah, oh, it's so dreamy. Let me show you. I think these are quite cool, actually. This is what the outfit looks like. Warm throughout the storm, however long I should wait. don't want to bring a reusable cup because you don't want to carry it back. This is what you need to do. Um, we bought this lemonade because we wanted to try it and it came in a glass bottle. And what I will do is I will keep all the bottles and reuse them for something like this. Usually if I would return this in Germany, I'd get 15 cents back. That's kind of like the deposit you make so that you take back the bottle. But honestly, I would much rather take something like this than get a coffee to go that is a cup that is single use. So this is also like a single use thing technically, but you can make use of it a second time. And I hope you can hear me because I forgot to put the mic on the camera. So I know you can hear me, but the audio might be bad. Just believe me, it's going to get better um, over the span of this video. I got you, I promise. Hello and good morning everyone from beautiful southern France. I'm out on the balcony. It is dreamy. We just spent the first night here. Um, our train was a little delayed so we didn't get in until midnight, I want to say. Um, yeah, it's still kind of chilly so I'm wearing like a little wrap with my night dress. Um, we've been awake for quite a while already. I took out my little curly thing and I'm about to get dressed. I just remembered I filmed the pack with me, but I don't remember which outfit, like what I paired with what, and so I'm just gonna look back at the computer, I hope. Um, yeah, I'll see. It's a little chilly, but actually quite nice. Later today, I really wanna hang out at the pool. It's so beautiful out here, honestly. Oh, the scenery, it's so, so dreamy. I think I can give you like a little tour maybe later. Um, yeah, I just have to figure out what I'm going to wear first. Even though we packed so tightly, I managed to bring a bunch of accessories. Like this bag that I might use today, or this one. Hat, sunnies, these are the ones with the interchangeable lenses. And then I brought this with um, all the lenses in here. Then just all my jewelry. So let's see, I think I wanna wear this as like a little belt. Day. Let's see, I think I want to do some rings. Oh, these two might be nice. Seems like a good selection. I don't think I want to do earrings. 
Maybe another necklace, I'll see. I'm on the balcony, I just got dressed. I hope you can kind of see. I'm planning on filming a lookbook here. I know people don't do them anymore, but I love them. Wearing like some little rings. I first wanted to wear a bra with this, but it is kind of sheer. And like the bra that I have was showing. So I'm just gonna go without one. It is more comfortable anyway, I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, this entire trip is very much inspired by Jane Birkin, like outfit-wise, and I love this look. It's warm enough to be wearing this today, so I don't want to complain. It's a good look. Look in my eyes, you will know what it's like to be loved, to be mine. You are my high Hawaiian sunshine. We came down to the beach. I'm in my little chain working style. It's actually quite warm out. I have the feeling that this is almost too warm with the boots, but I love the look. Um, I just filmed for the little lookbook and now we're actually looking to go to the supermarket just because we're missing some things for the baby. We decided not to bring like a whole bunch of things and instead just get some here. Um, yeah, I've never been here. I've only been to Marseille and Barcelona, which is kind of like the same climate, but it is so pretty. All the palm trees and everything. It's off season here. Um, the season doesn't start until I think later in the month, April 1st, maybe. So a lot of places are closed, but it is so, so dreamy. And it's not that hot. Apparently in the summer, it gets up to over 40 degrees. So that doesn't seem like a nice and enjoyable weather. But right now, all the beaches are empty. It's too cold to bathe in the ocean. I mean, you could, but I don't think people would. And then what you're seeing back there over there is Central Pay, where I think we're gonna go for like one day, maybe. We will see. So yeah, I'm gonna catch up with everyone <laughs> and then we'll see where the day is taking us. We came by this little water fountain kind of thing. And at first we thought, it was for swimming but apparently this is what all the old towns here have and they all gather here to wash and do their laundry which i thought was really interesting i love to learn about different cultures just whenever i'm in different places honestly the streets here are so insanely beautiful um we are almost back we're staying in this kind of like vacation bit i don't know what i'd say it's kind of like a resort um but a lot more toned down um, yeah, so we're just walking back and then maybe just have a little lunch and then I really want to go swimming. It is so hot. That seems like a good idea. So this is what it looks like when you enter. So pretty. I particularly love these like large old overhanging trees. It's beautiful. This is the hotel. You can either stay in like a little <laughs> flat apartment or in this beautiful hotel. And then this is the area we are staying in. It's also attached to the hotel and everything. And all these vacation rentals were built in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And I love the style. They also remind me of like a very nice vintage motel. Hello and good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Yeah, I think so. It's our second full day in France and I just woke up actually quite a while ago. Um, we just got the baby ready, gave him breakfast and everything. My mom and stepfather are still asleep and I just came out on the balcony to sit here for a little. It's still quite chilly out to be honest, but I think it's going to be warmer later. Uh, yesterday was actually so hot. I just wanted to do like a little recap of yesterday because I didn't really film that much. I think I'm gonna show you some of the locations today. Um, we went to the pool. That was actually quite lovely. I think at first Teddy Boy didn't quite like it because the water was a little colder than what we usually bathe in. But then he really liked it. We have this little floaty for him where he can sit in and he loves it. So we were there quite a while and then my mom and I drove to like a big supermarket to just get some things and like a hat for the baby because he grew out of the one we had from last year. I need to show you the hat because it is quite cute actually. It has pineapples. I think it's a girl's hat, but who cares? 
um yeah it's not my first choice but he just needed something because the sun is so bright here um so if i find one that i truly love i might as well get that one too other than that it is dreamy and beautiful here my only issue is that the internet connection and the wi-fi is so slow it is so slow i have been uploading a youtube video for almost 24 hours now <laughs> it's not going up and so i tried to do it on my cellular um internet but that doesn't work either because i think connection is just bad here so please bear with me there's a video coming today it is at 90 something percent now so i hope it'll be up soon i had to do some work last night review some contracts and do some things but i feel like today is more of like an off day so that's actually lovely oh i hear the blinds going up in my mom's room over there i cannot wait to get dressed um, for some reason I'm very excited about the outfits here and I want to show you the like tiny little minimal makeup that I've been doing to kind of resemblance Jane Birkin style so when I get ready I'm just gonna take you along in a little bit I hope you can kind of see but this right back there is the ocean it's beautiful out here I propped up the camera on a bunch of toilet paper uh, on the windowsill outside but I just thought I'd leave the window open because this is kind of where the light comes in. So I think you can see what I'm about to do as I'm getting ready. So I'm gonna start by washing my face and then show you how I do the makeup. I'm just gonna start by taking out my hair. I just um, washed my face, applied some moisturizer, and I'm gonna take out the hair. We have actually made plans for the day now. So my mom wants to go out and like walk on the beach, like power walk for a little. Um, we're not really interested in that, neither is my stepdad, so we are all going to go to like a market. Apparently there's a very nice market. Yesterday we went by the um, veggies and like spices herb market, but today apparently there is a market with like clothing and everything as well. So I am quite excited to be honest. Okay, this is what the hair is looking like. I feel like I need to do some dry shampoo. Uh, I didn't put my hair in the pool last night, and so I didn't wash it, but I really want to do that tonight. But my hair is in desperate need of a wash. Nothing that a little dry shampoo can't fix. Uh, also, I forgot my brush, and oops, I'm stuck with this one that I usually always have in my purse. I like it. It's a cool little brush, but it's not the best to like brush your entire head of hair. Um, so last night, that was quite the journey, actually. I really think I have the curls down now. I really think so. I like how they're looking. I used to have the prettiest makeup bag, but when our apartment flooded, when our washing machine broke, um, it flooded, and so there's no chance of me using that anymore. But I want to keep it kind of light, so I'm just going to do a little bit of concealer. I remember buying this sort of concealer, it has like a little brush on top. I bought it the first time rather randomly to be honest, just because I needed something really quick. I thought, I think I was somewhere on the go, I just wanted to fresh up a little. And so I bought this and like a tinted lip balm. And I've got to say, ever since I have been repurchasing it, I really like it, it's a good product. Just using a sponge to kind of work that in. Skin blended. I don't want to do like a real foundation or anything today. And especially because I'm going for such a natural Jane Birkin look here, I'm just gonna keep it natural. I actually put out a full Jane Birkin lookbook and makeup tutorial at one point. I'm gonna link that here for you. And while I really love the makeup look that I did there, I also think she often didn't wear any makeup or it appeared like she wasn't wearing any makeup. I'm gonna go for that kind of look. Okay, just a little on the nose. I think that's good actually. Yeah, that seems good. So let's do some blush next. I said, I bought this recently and I've been loving it. Love, love, loving it. It's such a good blush. The only issue is that it, like, there's a lot of product coming out at once. I don't quite love that if I'm being honest, but I can work with it. And then I'm using this little sponge. I'm using a different one, just because I don't want the blush to go all over my other sponge. I'm just gonna 
want that in and I always blend it quite forward until like onto my cheek and then I always do a little bit on the nose just a little bit there's one final thing that I like to do my last step I also took from the following the 60s makeup tutorial um, this is the darker lipstick I also got that the day that I got the lighter one and I love to apply it with a brush it is so brilliant to do that because it goes on so much lighter and I really love that for a Jane Birkin kind of look this is such a beautiful color too okay I think that's a lip that I want to do and then if it wears off that's fine too um as said Jane Birkin she was a natural kind of person she wore a lot of natural makeup but yeah that's basically all all I do um now I just need to get dressed I film my getting dressed videos outside here just because the weather is so beautiful and the rooms are like a little smaller. Our room actually has two separate beds and a baby bed um, so it's not ideal <laughs> but yeah I'm just gonna see what I want to wear. I just got dressed. This is the outfit, the same brown boots. I love it. I bought this dress about a year ago on Vinted. It's beautiful and then this bag. Oh, I hope I can show you. Do you see this? It is made in Hong Kong, which I think is so cool. My grandma Sunny's a nice little necklace. I was planning on maybe wearing this with a hat. And then I put on the hat and I just don't like it. I think the flower is too kind of cute to work with the more bohemian sort of necklace and rest of the style. So yeah, this is the look. We are walking into the city the same way that we did yesterday. I already filmed for my lookbook in the garden that I showed you yesterday. Oh, like that's attached to the hotel basically. This back there is the hotel and the entire like bit and area that belongs to it. The gardens and everything. Um, it's not quite far. It's like a five minute walk kind of downtown where they have the market. So yeah, beautiful sunny day. crazy I took a shower last night um, my son and I are the only ones up so far even though it's almost eight everyone else is sleeping in. yeah we've been awake for quite a while like two hours I'm finally making some coffee I feel like it's time my mom always like hand grinds her um, coffee I used to do the same until we got like the mechanic little electric one but I really like this one it's not a vintage one but it's like a very classic shape the one that I had definitely was harder to twist but this one still a little hard usually i put it between my knees and then go like this it kind of works the best you are a flower girl i can't tell i wanted to film a little out here and i just did but i don't think i can record any voice i hope you can hear me because it is insanely windy but also so beautiful look at the view this is what i'm wearing i need to go in and have breakfast it is so windy but beautiful honestly i love windy beach days my hair is so crazy from the wind um, yesterday at the market we ended up not really buying anything there were so many beautiful clothes and like crocheted things and everything but i just didn't want it to like stop and for me sometimes i need to look at everything first and then i can make the decision and pretty much everything that they're selling there they're also selling at like other markets we're going to saint tropez to a market next week where I'm thinking they are just gonna sell the same things probably. It's a lot of the same vendors apparently. And also downtown they like have a lot of these things. Um, so the only thing that I ended up buying, and I'm sure I will buy more of this um, vacation just because there are so many beautiful pieces here. But the one thing that we ended up buying was a Marseille patchouli soap. They have a bunch of different soaps here. It's like very popular. It smells so good. I wish you could smell this, but he had like a bunch of these different soaps. You can get them pretty much everywhere here. Um, I think it was two euros, a hundred grams of a very nice smelling soap. 
The sun is coming over wanting to smell too. Uh, we got this to also do a little hand wash because we have some laundry that needs to get done. Oh, I love soap like this. I cannot wait to put this in our luggage on the way home because everything's gonna smell this good. We just went on like a one and a half hour walk just to get the baby to sleep a little. Um, we went through all the little downtown area. What I was going to say is um, that they're currently like setting up. Apparently the season starts early April. It's like March 23rd today, I believe. But there's a marathon that they're running downtown and like kind of they're starting here and then they're running all the way over to Central Pay. And apparently that's bringing a lot of people here, which is why they're trying to set up everything by tomorrow. Which is great because it means that all the little shops are opening. We actually found the shop. <laughs> it's kind of like a little secondhand charity shop and they apparently are collecting money for all the street cats here. And we found the cutest little salt and pepper shakers there. They were five bucks, so we had to get them. I'm gonna show you once we are back, because we're currently walking back to get the baby some lunch, lay down for a little, and then later we would really love to go to the beach and maybe dip our feet in. Golo wants to swim. I think it's too cold, but we'll see. Maybe I'm going to be brave later, we'll see. Depending on how the audio quality is on this, I might need to mute it. But we came down to the harbor and we're just having some drinks. I'm just having some um, strawberry juice. Apparently that's a thing here. I didn't know about it, but it's actually quite nice. I had one on the way here on the train too. I like it. It kind of grows on me. I don't know. It's good. I don't think I have filmed in here yet, but this is um, our bedroom. Okay, we came back. I wanted to film more outside, but the reality is it is so windy. You can't really understand me, I think. So I'm gonna show you what I bought and then we're gonna go to the pool. I really wanna take you along and kind of like show you the pool area. So I hope we can make that happen. The wind blew away all my curls, but my hair looks kind of okay today. So that's okay. Okay, so I think I said it, they are collecting money for Cat Sanctuary. We didn't know that when we came by the street and we passed this. Isn't it perfect? We have been looking for a salt and pepper shaker that goes on our table, like it's a dining room table, for ages. And I couldn't find one that I really liked. This, I think it might be olive tree. I don't know. I love it so much. A little mushroom shape. I don't know what time it is from, but I feel like it has a very distinctive mid-century style. What I also really love about this is the fact that it has like a little plastic thingy down here. I opened it up a little earlier just to like have a look inside because I figured that that was just so much easier to fill it. Kind of hard to remove, which I think is good so it's not going to fall off. Um, yeah, so that's that. Fill it, put this thing back on and you're good to go. Okay, so that's on that other than that. I didn't really find anything that I loved, loved. So there's so many amazing things, embroidered pieces, a lot of knitting, a lot of crochet pieces, but nothing really caught my attention. I came by this one pair of jeans that I loved because of the way that the pockets were sewn. And it looked like they were flares, but then I tried it on and it was more like a boot cut and not really even a boot cut. It was kind of like a weird cut. I really liked the top part, but I didn't like the legs at all. So I passed that up. I'm gonna pack to take our things to the pool. Um, and yeah, I, I think I can film in there. There aren't ever really any people there. I don't know what it is. It's off season here. The season doesn't start until next week. So part of the pools are also closed. But yeah, there's one open and that one's actually pretty beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna go there. Let me take you along. We are on our way to the pool. Um, it's right over there. You just pass a few of these like little houses and then you're basically there, but they're getting the lead. The sun is setting. It's like five now, I'd say. I decided to wear something um, inspired by my bathing suit, just some shorts and my blue lenses just quickly exchanged them. So this is where the swimming area starts. When you enter, there's like a little kids play area. Due to it being off season, this pool is still closed. So is like this area and the kids pool down there. 
this big pool out here. I mean, there's water in it, but you're not allowed to swim. At one point, he had a mullet, but it kind of like grew out. And now I think it's kind of like a Ringo Starr cut. Can you look? And now I don't know how to recut it because I'm the one cutting this man's hair. Also, we're getting the baby ready to go swimming. And then technically out there, there's like a bar area. So you could sit around that and then someone could go in there and serve you drinks. Wouldn't that be nice? My son keeps wanting to grab the camera, which I can understand, it's interesting for him. <laughs> he loved sitting in his little thingy yesterday. And I even like took him in the water, um, just carrying him yesterday. He doesn't really like it today. So, um, Golo just took him out and he's playing up there. He enjoys it in here because it's quite hot. But there's like the outdoor area. I wish we could go out there. That would be so beautiful. Hello and good morning everyone. We are at a local bakery because we are kind of like driving up to another town today. I'm having some milk coffee. It's strong. All the coffee that I had here so far was insanely strong. And then just like a croissant with some chocolate which is still warm which i think is kind of nice um it is insanely windy out actually this morning when i got dressed i felt like i was blowing off our little balcony area where i usually get dressed actually yesterday um i felt like it was worse i felt like it was insanely windy yesterday but looking back i feel like today is probably worse so yeah we'll see also in the town that we are staying in there's a marathon today so that's why we're not staying there and like driving somewhere else um, and then we also need to stop by the grocery store get a few things today is sunday we're leaving wednesday but very very early i think we need to leave at like half past five take the car take the train another train another train kind of like the same way that we came here obviously the sky here is always spotless not a single cloud in the sky it, it is windy as set and it is supposed to be even more windy tomorrow but it is nice now it feels like a breeze there are palm trees over there <laughs> such a dreamy day this is my outfit i think i can show you better later but yeah this is what i'm wearing we came to the most beautiful little town and this is the outfit that i'm wearing love it i also brought a leather jacket and a purse just to make sure that i'm warm enough i just filmed for the lookbook and everyone else like walked ahead so i'm putting my jacket back on and I'm trying to catch up with them. This is such a like little dreamy town and if I understood my mom right yesterday, there might be like a little vintage shop somewhere here, which would be dreamy. This is the purse that I brought and the jacket. I only brought one and when it is wind still, it seems very obnoxious to wear this because it is warm, but when the wind comes through, it's actually quite cold. Palm Sunday today, so they're like having a little celebration for that and there's music everywhere. We also went to like a little vintage shop, I think I showed you that, but the prices were so high, jackets were like 400 bucks, didn't get anything, but we found the dreamiest little boutique and we bought quite a few things actually. I will show you those when we're back. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna leave now. Not too sure yet, but I think so actually. Hello everyone, it's a lot later. I came to my mom's and said my room because there's the most sun in here and I really wanted to show you what we got today. So we were in this little town, all of these beautiful little streets and then we came by the cutest little shop. They had so many amazing pieces. I didn't know if I was allowed to film in there and my French isn't really that good so I didn't film anything in there basically. But um, the man working there was so nice, he was so kind, he helped us. They had so many beautiful pieces and a bunch of like recycled pieces from India, handmade pieces from India. And so, you know, we got some things. Oh, this is the card of the shop. Um, oh yeah, they're on Instagram actually. I'll try to link them down below. Um, yeah, so the first thing that we got is this for Golo. I love it. We were thinking about this being like a good 
wedding shirt for him but actually with the color of suit that he just got which we don't know if he's going to keep that one but this wouldn't quite work but i think it is so beautiful it's a very nice breezy cotton handmade in india with love oh, it's so beautiful a lot of the shops here sell sort of like the same brands the same things I've never seen something like this anywhere else here and I thought it was so dreamy. It reminds me a lot of kind of like the shirts that the Beatles wore after going to India. So this was simply, simply perfect. The next thing that we got is actually for my soon-to-be mother-in-law. She's a teacher, try to do the best for their children. They're always there for our son. They're just the most amazing people and we wanted to give her like a special kind of birthday present and she recently I think from her husband got this really beautiful purse it's like a colored purse she loves colorful clothing she's a primary school teacher and she's like always wearing very colorful things and in this store they had and i kid you not um a bunch of things that looked very much like this particular purse and so we decided to get her a wallet i was like oh look they have beautiful wallets and they kind of look like your mom's purse and then my boyfriend told me that his mom and i've actually seen it before i just thought it was like a spare wallet that she uses she uses his wallet from when he was in school and has like dinosaurs on it so i think it is time that she gets her own so we bought her this um it is real leather um beautiful yellow color i think that this might be cow not too sure i i know that the purse has cow so colorful on the inside very very beautiful um yeah, I know that she doesn't watch these videos, so I can show you this, but I thought it was perfect. Such a dreamy little gift, and her birthday isn't until August, but this doesn't go bad. So we're just going to take it home, wrap it nicely, and then when her birthday rolls around, I think she'll really love this. I have been seeing dreamy vests everywhere here, but they're always not quite my cup of tea. They're usually rather modern or like embezzled in a way that I don't like it. Then in this store, I found this vest. It is so beautiful. Do you see this on the inside is dreamy, but the outside, it's to die for actually. Um, this one is also handmade in India with love and it has another little tag that says, this Maison Zidonie garment is made from a vintage sari from India, which has been handpicked by us. It is then cleaned and redesigned into what you are holding. By using this garment, you are bringing new life to an already existing fabric and helping the environment too. Please consider it as a unique item that needs to be treated with care. The fabric may have flaws which are part and history which are part of its history and charm. We love working with these beautiful fabrics and we hope you enjoy them as much as we do. I think that's beautiful. This was the last one that he had. It is an extra large, so it's like a little big on me. I think it works um, because of the way that it is cut and I think French clothing sizes run a little different than like German or British or whatever. For a size extra large, it is very small. For me, it's a little big to be quite honest. Um, I mean, I think it is absolutely perfect. The only issue is that it's like a little big up here. I honestly don't think it's that bad. I mean, I love it and I needed to get it. It was the last size, the last one. I think it was 39 bucks. To be honest, I spend a lot more money today than I have spent on myself in like quite a while. But I love it. It is so, so beautiful. Honestly, I was hesitant about getting this and then getting something else. But Gola kind of was like, sometimes you have to splurge on yourself. So yeah, he was right. I love this vest. Isn't it perfect? I feel like even with what I'm wearing today, this just works so, so well. I think you could flip it inside out. This is what it looks like on the other side. I do like this, but I prefer the other side. I also think from just the way that it is cut, this side up just... It's just a little more beautiful, but honestly, I am so happy about this purchase. This vest, it already has my heart. It's so, so dreamy. I went into that store, saw that vest, and I knew I needed to have it. So yeah, my heart is set on this one, and then I found something else, and I cannot tell you how much I also fell in love with this dress. As I said, we have been kind of like looking in different shops the last couple of days, but nothing ever really caught my attention this store they had it all honestly I could have probably gotten even more things there 
I was just like at one point, okay, that's that's good. That feels good. These are the pieces that I really, really, truly want and that I know I will wear and cherish. I got a maxi dress. This is by a Spanish brand, which for me is perfect. If you didn't know, in Europe, everything that's like Nordic, Sweden, Norway, all these kind of countries and their brands like H&M, for example, if you didn't know, their things are very long. Their uh, maxi dresses I can't really wear because I'm short. If you buy it from Spanish brands, for example, things are usually a little shorter. So also I'm saying that as someone who hasn't bought a piece of like new non-used clothing in I don't know what feels like eternity. But I got this dress and I fell in love with it and it is so beautiful. It's a maxi dress made from the most beautiful cotton fabrics. It is Oh, it reminded me of like gun sex. These like maxi dresses. I need to try this on for you. The angel sleeves and everything. It's like ruched right under the bust, which makes for this dreamy silhouette. You know what? I'm not gonna tell you anymore. I'm just gonna try it on and show you. Now look at this. How oh, is this so beautiful? The tie detail, the sleeves, the like deeper cut V in the back. The length is perfect. It is so beautiful. I honestly can't imagine styling this with a belt or just as is. It is so perfect. Tell me this isn't the most amazing 70s kind of hippie, late 60s dress. I said the Beatles going to India. That's kind of like the look, right? I'm so happy about this purchase. The funny thing is, for the longest time, I wouldn't have allowed myself to buy this. Because I was like, oh no, I only want real 60s pieces. And now I'm like, you know what? No, I want what I like. And I know that this isn't like the most 60s dress. It has some elements that might be a little more modern, but overall it still has that feeling of Woodstock of the 60s and 70s. It has the most dreamy detailing and it doesn't even matter to me at this point if my pieces are from the 60s authentically because it's about the style, it's about what I love and this dress makes me feel so amazing. This vacation, um... The timing isn't the best just because I have so much to do right now. But I worked for like two hours, one hour earlier, um, getting something ready for like a brand thing. Uh, I needed to basically write a sort of concept for something that I'm doing with them. So that is on its way. I actually just send it out. So we'll see if there are rewrites and re... If there are rewrites, if they just like what I sent. We'll see. But yeah, um, we are about to pack our things and go to the pool. I don't think I'm gonna film there. You saw it. It was beautiful yesterday. I think it's going to be beautiful today. I love spending time in that pool. And then when I'm back, maybe I film a little tonight. I don't know, if not tomorrow. Um, yeah, honestly, I feel like with this vacation, I haven't filmed as much, at least it feels like to me. But I also just really wanna enjoy the moment. Teddy is now at an age where he's not really sleeping that much anymore. So I just want to take in every single moment that I have with him right now and with my and with Golo because he's off work for almost three weeks. He has been working so much, seven days a week, sometimes 10 days in a row, and it just feels good to be able to spend some time together. So yeah, I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you when I see you. Hello and good morning. I am on my way to go up there to like find a nice spot to get dressed, have my clothing with me. And while I was getting ready, uh, I was looking for my sunglasses with the interchangeable lenses and I wore them yesterday. And so I kept looking and looking and I couldn't find them. And then it kind of dawned on me and I think I forgot them in the changing room of the little boutique I was at yesterday. So now I'm a little heartbroken, to be honest. I tried to contact the man. I mean, I have his number and I have like his Facebook, his Instagram, his whatever. I said, this is a parking lot, so I need to see if I find a nice spot. Oh, I don't know, honestly. I just need these glasses. Oh, wow. I know this might sound very dramatic, but honestly, I love these sunglasses. They mean the world to me, and I need to get them back. So I'm gonna try my best. This was just a little bit of a shock this morning. But yeah, there's only so much you can do. This is the view, and this is the other view. <laughs> but I'm just gonna try to get dressed here again. It looked very nice uh, in the video that I did, like, yesterday. Two days ago, actually. I'm just gonna do it again and then I hope I will find a solution for the sunglasses. I just uh, filmed my getting dressed. This is the dress that I'm wearing. I'm just holding it up a little. It's technically perfect length, but I'm so 
scared of this dress ripping because it is so important to me i love it so much tell me that these houses doesn't remind you of like a desert motel in the 1960s this whole thing was basically built in the 60s great look at first i was thinking i would walk down to the park but now i'm thinking this is a nice backdrop too so let's see maybe i can do something here oh i don't i don't even know if i said it but i'm looking for a spot to film for my lookbook oh it's windy again i just finished filming this is the hotel area it's so beautiful down here so i'm gonna go back to our apartment i really want to have some breakfast my stepdad took the dog out this morning and they went to like a local boulangerie to a bakery uh, and they picked up something so that sounds so good i have been loving cheese here the cheese here is insane especially like the soft kind of cheeses so i've been eating a lot of that um and then today we are maybe taking a boat to saint tropez so basically there's like a regular bus line but it's a boat i think that that's popular in like a bunch of cities. I just remember it from when I was in New York where you can take the ferry to like Staten Island, which I only did once to meet a friend over there. Um, but that was actually quite pleasant. And I think it's the same here with the ferry. So the charge is not that high because renting out a boat here is insanely expensive. So we're not gonna do that. So that is the plan. We were planning on doing that tomorrow because there's a market in Saint Tropez. We are still thinking about going there. But it's apparently supposed to rain tomorrow. Look at the houses over there. So yeah, that's the plan I said. Nothing fixed that we have planned for today. I think we're just gonna go on a walk after breakfast. I've been up with our son since five. It's like nine-ish now, so I think he will sleep in his stroller after breakfast. It is a whole lot later. It's like 12, the last time that I checked in was nine. We wanted to leave a lot earlier. But then when I came back, the baby took a nap. Then I fell asleep for a little, did some emails, did some work, baby had lunch, and now we're back going. I have a little tip for you if you're short too, but you love to wear long shirts or like, wow, long skirts or dresses. Um, and you like the length, but it just, you're, you're tired of always holding it up while walking. All you need is a nicely fitted bra and then you like stuff a bunch of the skirt under it and then that's fine. So yeah, we're about to leave. We just took this up because it is windy and so the baby has it a little warmer and nicer. We have made it, we just arrived. I thought on the ship it was actually quite okay, but it was shaking a little. I think it's the wind, but over here it's not as windy, I thought, but now <laughs> the wind is coming through, so we'll see. They said that on Mondays, uh, most things here are closed, but I'm not too sure about that actually. Look at all of these yachts that are down here. If you don't know, Saint-Tropez is like one of the most expensive places to be in Southern France. So we'll see what we can actually do here. Okay, so so far we only went to a toy store. We bought the cute little toy for Teddy Boy. He picked it himself. I would show you, but he's not letting go of it. I'll show you later. Uh, and now we're in Monoprix. I love this store. It's like a French kind of target. We don't have anything that's like this in Germany. I honestly don't know why, but I thought I'd take a little leap. They also have kids things. A bunch of homeware it's not like we need anything <laughs> but I don't know since we're here I just wanted to take a look look at this mug isn't it perfect I need to hold on to this four bucks I love the flowers it's really pretty I have all these dreamy little mirrors look at this one it's like a little moon I think the prices are okay this one is eight bucks Oh, I like these. I remember when everyone had these. They're $10.99. I had one like these, but it broke. Oh, they have so many cute children's clothes. I love these. That's all girls' things here, though. I think, oh, look at this. 
That's so cute. And then these are the boys, but it's too big for my son. All of it. It's so cute. They have a bunch of swimsuits. Oh, I love this one with the buttons. Oh, it's so cute. Why is it 50 bucks? That's so much. It's so cute. It's such a cute little retro bathing suit. Oh, I would love this, but I just think 50 bucks is quite a lot of money. Hello and good morning, everyone. It's our last full day here. Actually, it's our last day here because tomorrow we're leaving at 6 a.m. I wanted to film my outfit outside, but the weather is so gnarly, I decided to film in here. The only issue is the background isn't really pretty. Um. Anyway, this is the look. I was planning on wearing this shirt with shorts. It's too cold, so I am going back to these jeans that I have worn before, but that's okay because this is the new piece that I can wear today. The only issue that I have is that these pants, these are the ones that I washed to be tighter and it worked in some places, but it didn't work like up here. And this belt also is big and I don't have my whole puncher with me. So uh, it's just all a little big, but I think I'll be all right just pulling them up when they're writing down. In other news, I stopped filming yesterday in the Monoprix and I remember how I said, there's this bathing suit. I love it, it's expensive. Long story short, I ended up not getting the rather cheap mug because I was like, you know, I have so many mugs and I know I also have a few bathing suits, but to be quite honest, none of the bathing suits that I have, I truly love. I have been looking for one in like a 60s style for ages. I never found one, have been looking through so many vintage ones. They've always all been too big, nothing ever fit. I needed to get this. It is the cutest little 60s bathing suit. There was no changing room. So I just, <laughs> and usually I like between two sizes. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get the smaller one because I feel like at least for me, bathing suits over time, they get bigger. This is the perfect size. I tried it on yesterday. Uh, I already took it swimming. It's the perfect size. Look at the back. It's such a beautiful little low cut back. It was 50 bucks, I know. That's kind of a lot, but look at it, the structure and everything. It's so beautiful. This is my dream swimsuit, so I'm okay with paying 50 bucks. Um, yeah, I was just going to say and could show you the tag, but I cut everything out besides that like little one in here. Um, yeah, I, I love it. I haven't bought new things. I mean, I bought three new things so far in this trip. That's more than I have bought in like a year or two. I actually think the last new thing that I bought was a pair of maternity leggings. I don't, I didn't buy any like maternity wear besides one pair of leggings because all of my like comfy pants, they didn't go up all the way around the bump. So this was the only thing that I bought. Um, yeah, now I have this and I'm so excited about it. It is everything that I wanted and more in a bathing suit. Um, and that's honestly all I could ask for. I forgot to tell you the most amazing thing that happened yesterday, honestly. Okay, so you know, I lost my sunglasses. So I reached out to the guy in the shop uh, where we bought the beautiful dress and everything. He didn't reply and so he's like, damn, there's a phone number. But I, like my French is really bad and I'm not saying that, oh, it's so bad. No, it's really bad. I cannot get my point across, honestly. And that man, his English, I don't know how much he actually understood. Uh, it's not his fault, I'm just saying there's a language barrier. And so we walked back and then I was thinking and thinking and like we had a nice day yesterday, but I was always coming back to, I lost my favorite sunglasses. And so we walked past the car and I was like, wait, did I put it in like the compartment right in the door? I did. I found them and I'm so excited. The relief is insane. I got them, they're back with me. I didn't lose them. They're my favorite tunnies and they're back with me. I couldn't be more excited. I honestly couldn't be happier. This is the best thing that happened all the week. I don't know, maybe you can understand. If you just love something so much and then you think you lose it, it's the worst feeling and it's the best feeling finding it again. So yeah, I'm so relieved that I now have these back with me. I'm just going to be extra careful with them now. I think I need like a case or something because the issue is that they're so big, all my cases don't fit them. So I'll need to figure something out. But yeah, for now, I'm just relieved.
Hello and good morning everyone. It is barely six. It's our final day. I'm wearing another outfit that I didn't plan to wear, but I forgot that I should bring like long pants for driving home because it's quite cool at home. So I'm wearing this flannel shirt with it. I was planning on wearing this with some shorts, but I really like the look actually. I think it's fine. <laughs> I think if I would have paired this at home, maybe I'd accessorize it differently. But here we are. It's still, it's still a look that kind of works. It's a very casual kind of 70s look, but I don't mind it. So yeah, we're about to leave, and then we have the whole drive back, which is another three trains. So yeah, we'll see how long it's going to take us. <laughs> Our first train, we need to drive with the car to the station. That's like an hour, one and a half, I guess, and then it's eight plus hours on the first train and then another two hours on two other trains so we're just going to make it home the train and the craziest thing just happened um, it's snowing out here I don't quite understand how that is possible to be honest it's not that bad here but I just filmed like a little bit I don't know like two minutes ago and it was so snowy where is all the snow coming from we're still pretty down south in France which is insane oh this morning also when we went and like took this train there was a train right before this one and I went to Madrid and that would be dreamy too right now but we're going back home and that's all right I also look crazy and I haven't figured out how I'm gonna film my what I wear today kind of video maybe I'll do it like on the go because we have a layover at the next train station maybe we'll do that I have no idea I'm just so confused right now about all the snow. It's pretty cold here too, I guess. Hello everyone, it is about a week later. I am back home and I just realized I never ended this vlog. And I also realized a bunch of other things that I honestly just quickly wanted to talk about. So watching back clips of the vlog, I think part of it was like really fun. But I also felt like the vlog didn't felt as authentic to myself as most of my vlogs do. And I just quickly wanted to talk about how I felt during this vacation because a lot of things came together for me. So as you know, I went with my partner, my son, my mom and her husband. And my mom and I, we have a little bit of a complicated relationship to say the least so my mom and I used to have a very bad relationship I'd say like growing up wasn't always easy between us and then when I moved out we didn't talk for like over a year probably even longer and so we basically always had like this weird feeling about each other I assume I didn't felt too great about her i believe she didn't she didn't felt like anything good about me i mean she probably did but like general feeling was just kind of cold and we honestly had a really really hard time just being with each other i'd say over like the last year a little longer basically yeah no not even i don't know about a year probably um, when my son was like born a little earlier, we started to like get back together. We actually started to connect um, earlier and I have to say a lot of bad things happened between her and I, but one of the big things that I'm forever thankful for is that she was the one who put me uh, in the hospital when I was struggling so hard with my ED. She was like the one who really pushed me to do it. She drove me there, she picked me up and everything. But we still had a very distant relationship. Um, so this vacation was kind of like the big thing back, doing something together. And I have to say, it wasn't easy and as fun as it might have looked in this vlog. Overall, it was an okay vacation, but it was very like emotionally draining for me. There was a lot of things that really triggered me over the time. Um, 
and yeah overall we did have great moments all together but for me and my partner we kind of came to the conclusion that we are probably not going to do this again it was just all a lot i'm not saying we will never do it i'm just saying like the feeling that we have now i don't think we will um yeah I want to say I'm very grateful um, and thankful that they invited us. I don't want to sound unthankful. Um, we thanked them a lot. As said, we also had great moments, but overall it wasn't relaxing for me. I just felt like all the time I had this kind of like feeling inside of me that wouldn't allow me to relax. And that was just hard overall. So yeah, I just wanted to be open here because I know that there are a lot of people out there who struggle with relationships with their parents. And I just want to say, I think it is great to like give your relationships with your parents another chance. But I also just want to say, it is okay if you feel disappointed again. It is okay if you, if you're like me, I always feel like, okay, we could have the best relationship possible. It's just, we are going to make it work now. And I've just, as the older I get, come to the conclusion that it's probably never going to be like that. And that is hard and that is heartbreaking but for me and my inner peace realizing that and not pushing it further also helped me heal so yeah i just want to end the vlog on this note um thank you for watching thank you for spending time with us it was fun um yeah i just wanted to add this because it really is something that was on my mind the entire vacation. So I just wanted to be open and honest. But yeah, I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a beautiful day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine. Take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye everybody.